Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the 16th video of our second chapter Algebraic Expressions So, 16th video in the sense, the second video of Algebraic Expressions But totally if we see from video number 1 to uh, this video, it will be video number 16 But it is, it is the second video of Algebraic Expressions So, in today's class we will be learning a topic called as Polynomials Polynomials are of three types, monomial, binomial and trinomial But before that let us understand what we uh, recall, understand and recall what we had learned in last class So we had seen something called as terms, right? So there can be one term, two terms, three terms like that So in an algebraic expression, if we have only one term If we have only one term, then it will be called as monomial and in an algebraic expression, if we have two terms, it will be called as binomial. And in an algebraic expression, if we have three terms, it will be called as trinomial. Okay? So, let us discuss some examples before we move on to the problems. One term, like 5. 5 is one single term. Right? So, 5 is an example of monomial. Or any letter, x x is also an, is a variable and it's only one term so what is a term? term can be only a constant or it can be a variable or it can be a combination of both so let me combine 5 and x it will become 5x so 5x should I treat this as two terms or one term? so you can't think that 5 is one term and x is another term and call this as two terms no so 5 and x should be treated as one single term 5x and that will be an example of monomial I can also have uh, negative uh, integers like minus 5y I can also have like this I can also have decimals 2.3xy now also you should 2.3xy so you will say you will say two terms or three terms only if there is plus or minus sign between the terms if there is no plus sign or minus sign between the terms they should be treated only as one single term so although you may see 2.3x and y as three different things but all the three should be treated only as one, one term because there is no plus sign or minus sign between them. I hope you have understood the examples of monomials. Binomials are two terms. Example 2 plus x. 2 is one term, x is another term. And there is plus sign in between. So this is one term, x is another term. That is an example of binomial. Uh, 5x plus 3. What do you think this is? Monomial or binomial? Binomial because there are two terms. 5x should be treated as one single term and 3. Here I have shown, five, uh, I have shown already why 5x is a single term. Now you can also have minus 2 plus 3x. You can also have negative sign. Again it is separated by plus sign in between of this term and this term. So these are examples of binomials where we have two terms. Next we will have trinomials. Trinomials will have three terms. Example 2x plus 3y plus 4z. 2x can be treated as one term, 3y one more term, 4z one more term, 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3 terms. Okay? Or 4 plus 3y plus 9x. 4 is one term, 3y is another term, 9x is another term, 3 terms. Or minus 3xyz plus 4xy plus 4z. If I have something like this, this is also an example of trinomial. Minus 3xyz because there is no plus or minus sign in between, it should be treated as one term. 4xy should be treated as another term, and 4z should be treated as third term. That is an example of trinomial. So uh, your homework for today will be: you have to list down 10 examples of monomials, 10 examples of binomials, and 10 examples of trinomials. The best thing to do is mix up lot of terms and then try to separate them as monomials, one group as binomials, one group of Try on this. Try to be as creative as you want in your homework and we'll continue with the problems in next class.